back at the start. The Thames Cup, this is the men's club eights, the equivalent event with Canterbury and Rowing Club on the Berkshire Station and City of Bristol Rowing Club on the Buckinghamshire Station. And both crews off with a clean start. They had great races yesterday to get to this point. Canterbury and led off the start and gradually pulled away, although the old Monmouthiums they were up against never led up. And City of Bristol dominated pretty much their race yesterday. Uh, and so they are really excited to be racing here. And we see you know, really fierce start from both. Of course, always going flat out, seeing if you can get any extra advantage coming out of the island. And we've got a little bit on the Buck Station now with City of Bristol just creeping ahead. Yeah, both crews had a very similar time despite the different margins. And both these crews are littered with people who've rode this event. It's absolutely, there's only three people between the both crews that haven't rode here before. So that's good club athletes coming here again and again and again to compete in the Thames Cup. Yeah, always looking to find that combination that might just have that extra few gears in it that really clicks, that can get to the finals and uh, even perhaps pick up that medal. It's, it's such a high standard of com competition in this event. And here, Canterbridge on the Oxfordshire, on the Buckinghamshire station leading. They've won this event once before in 1984. Slightly controversial, I seem to remember, because it was a South African crew that came over and rode as a club, Canterbridge. Um, and that's the only time they've won at Henley. City of Bristol have yet to win here. But both crews here really well drilled, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I, really, I think that you know that it's quite a, a good matchup, isn't it? There's a little bit more power just in that Bristol crew. That's the only difference. They're both, you know, very well. It's, it's, it's amazing they can be that well drilled when we've had so little time on the water this year. And, you know, perhaps when they have got on the water, there's been that extra focus from the coaches and the athletes about honing that technique and so glad to get off the ergos and into the boat. But both really slick crews. It's a little bit more power within each stroke in the Bristol crew. Yeah, the Bristol crew just seem to have boat seems to travel just further between strokes, just a bit more physical. It's interesting you say that about not having much time on the water because a lot of the school coaches I spoke to as well were saying that because the kids were just fit from having done all the work in lockdown, actually, when they first came on the water, they were robust mm, interesting. and quite fast and then mm. were keen to listen to coaching. Yeah, I think so. We're also appreciative to be rowing and racing and, and wanting to get better that yeah, we, I think everyone's really grasped this summer and the opportunity to race and, and get out doing our, doing sport at all is something we don't take for granted anymore. It's kind of shown the, the more the importance of sport for people, I think. I think so, yeah, for your, for your real holistic health. Um, it's not just about winning at Henley, it's about being part of an active community. And we can see from the guys in these crews, this is, this is not a one-year thing. This is something you come, you're part of each year, and you see if you can find your crew that are going to just be able to peak at the right time and, and really play to all your strengths. And City of Bristol at the moment are putting down a bit of a marker in this event. Yeah, they were, they were six of the Met in the C final, and they did Tier 2-8 at Marlow where they came seventh, and doing a really good job here. But this is not the end for the Cantabs because they've got bumps and town bumps in Cambridge. And that's a completely different race format to this, isn't it? It is. And um, it's so lovely to be seeing all of those regattas happening again. I think it's so, you know, looking at James Adele in the three seat in Canterbridge, and he rode, he's rode at Cantab since the age of 10. He's now 24. And, uh, you know, he's, he's very motivated to be rowing still and doing his former coach, Andy Johnson, proud. He sadly passed away last year, so that'll be extra motivation for him. He was the long-term coach of the first eight, and he'd been coaching him since the sixth form. So that's a lovely story about that. The family, the community of uh, rowing. Well, it was a bit like yesterday with Tom Jost rowing to celebrate yeah. his passing of one of his coaches as well. I actually saw, saw him in Tesco's that evening, he was quite tired. <laughs> so here, Bristol, Really rowing very well here, really controlled effort here. You can't have, as always, as we see, the crews, even when they're down, they just never roll over, do they? They're absolutely fighting, and you can see Sarah Russo in the cock seat there, very, very experienced. She is was uh, coxing them in the Thames Cup in 2017 uh, and in the ladies' plate in 2018. And, uh, you know, she is going to be making sure they get every ounce out of themselves that they can say they left it all out there. And you can see that from this race. They are raising it into the finish. They're putting in the pushes in. They're going to see if they can put any more pressure on Bristol. And Bristol are not able to take the rate down. They are having to make sure they keep racing hard to stay ahead. Certainly are, aren't they? Staying on top of it, really committed to the end. As Bristol approached the progress board, 15 strokes or so to go. 
you can see here from the commentary position, really great blade work. The boat's really running nicely for him. Pantab still attacking the crew, no, not giving up at all. And as we approach the finish line, uh, Bristol, City of Bristol Rowing Club beat Canterbridge in Rowing Club by almost the length of clear water in the heat of the Thames Challenge Cup. Well rowed both crews. Nice cheer there from the Bristol crew.